Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. I've kind of sat here staring at this level up screen for the past 30 seconds because the recorder wouldn't start up and I didn't have it open already, but 75 herbal. We have one more level until I don't have to boost anymore, which would be fantastic. And we can make mid strength. Noxa for potions. I think that's the overloads that I originally wanted to get to, but I kind of want to hit. Oh, I need to boost again. I kind of want to hit 86 before we get started, so I can boost to make super combats. Just about caught ourselves 98 defense there. I knew it was coming in, I just didn't realize how close I actually was to it. That gives us one more level until we are fully maxed in melee. Classroom quiz random is always nice because we can go ahead and take this book of knowledge, slap that straight on Slayer, and get ourselves. 54 Slayer! Now, we need one more level, and I'll be able to finally equip the Slayer Staff. You know, it's kind of sad to think that this may be the last time I have to empty out this herb sack. If you guys didn't know, occasionally, while I'm killing Temple Spiders, I have to empty out the herb sack, because I get more herbs than I need. And you'll see in here, we've got plenty. Um, and yeah, so, we're so close to Nightmare Defense now, that this may be the last time I have to do it. And uh, I think we're going to miss it. But we're going to finish off these irrits here. And we've got one more ready for the last trip of Temple Spiders. We shouldn't need any more after that. And even if we do, irrits are actually really easy to get. Like, I am never going to run out of them. I have, I just checked a minute ago. Uh, I'll check again. I have like 236, is it? 235 irrit seeds. It's never going to run out. I mean, we've got so many, it's ridiculous. Uh, I'll be doing the rest of these a bit later. Uh, I'm going to finish off 99 Defense first, and then we'll clear up all of these. I would want to get these Dwarfies done, but getting the Wine of Zamorax from uh, the Undead Druids is just such a chore that I just can't be bothered. I've been wasting some Dwarfweeds here and there, but honestly, guys, it's it's like you get like 10 Wines an hour. This would take me three hours to do, and I just cannot be bothered. So I'll do it when I feel up to it. Um, maybe in the future at some point. But I'm going to go get the rest of my stuff, which is on the table. And we're going to head back to Temple Spiders. And we're going to finish off 99 defense and max out all of the melee stats. All right. So here we are. This is actually wrapped up quite nicely because I'm just about to finish this trip. And if you look here, you can see we are ever so close. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to press that. Okay, we're going to ignore that I mispressed that. I just didn't want to get the level without getting it properly and i've accidentally just teleported to karamja that never happened i'm gonna put this in the video just so you guys can see it but i panicked um yeah my retaliate would have made me probably get the level i mean possibly i can hit that much um i'm sure you guys understand and forgive me for accidentally getting that music track it was a complete mistake but you can see i've never cheated before at least i guess right we're gonna head over to the karen castle I'm a bit all out of sorts now because I panicked there a lot. I didn't think I was going to get enough XP from the last one to get the level. But when I saw that 90-something XP drop, I frantically panicked and was like, oh no, I'm going to accidentally get it without getting it with the guys. Because I've got a few people waiting for me to get this little 99 party, as we would always do. And we are going to finish off on a Karen Guard. And my minimap just went a bit crazy there. They are doing a nice little train around the statue. That's cute. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves this level. Okay, so I think I've set up the guard correctly. Assuming I actually get a decent hit here, this should give us 99 defense on the account. And that will be the last melee level we ever have to get. The only combat stat we'll have to train after this, actually, is magic. Unless, of course, you count in prayer, which is going to be done in a very, very long time. Um, because I'm not going to Red Dragons for 99 prayer. That will suck. But anyway, let's go ahead. Bop the guard on the head. Get ourselves... If it finishes the kill. 99 defense. And there we go. That is it. That is Overzealous. Is fully maxed out in attack, strength, defense, ranged, and very soon also magic. What an insane grind. I'm sure you guys are wondering about all the drops from Temple Spiders. I will post that on screen right now.
this is everything we got from Temple Spiders. Now, I will say it says 65,216. That is a lie. It is more like nearly, I don't know, 80 to somewhere, 80 to 90k somewhere around there. Uh, the reason it says 65,000 is because um, it ignores coin drops because of Ring of Wealth, which means it just thinks that I didn't kill one. Um, and obviously the Ring of Wealth picks up the coins and therefore doesn't count the kill. Um, but as you can see, the cash stack is pretty huge. You've also got to bear in mind that when we did this before, we uh, saved up for 99 construction, which we also did. So I've actually made six dead, sorry, 28,320,000 GP since doing 99 construction. I mean, there are a lot of Alks, don't get me wrong, that gives a lot of GP as well. But there's a lot of coin drops from these. It is absolutely insane. But yeah, it's about 103 mil, not including the coin drops, as you can see from the loot tracker. So that is pretty insane. Um, and the rune stacks are huge. I've still got to sell the death runes. Um, I'm going to be using the chaos runes for something else. And as for the law runes, I'm probably going to drop them over for bonds because I won't be able to get much money on this account for them. Um, nature runes are massive as well. And the blood runes are going to be used for raids. So I'm going to end off this clip here so I don't stand around ignoring everyone. And we're going to work on something new. It's been a while. I've been training defense and combat stats on spiders for ages now. But it is time to move on. All right, so next on the agenda is actually sorting out the inventory, now that we've done that level. Once again, I apologize for accidentally teleporting to Karamja, but I'm pretty sure none of you actually care and don't consider it a failed account uh, because it was a clear clear accident. You've seen it on video. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is store the robes in the house because we're not going to be needing prayer gear, at least not for a while. And of course, that clears up two inventory spaces. I wish I could store this somewhere, but obviously until I get like a full set of God dehyde in the same God, which is probably never going to happen, then that's not going to be a possibility. But anyway, we've got ourselves an Avento seed here. Uh, I do want to plant this, but I believe I still have Ranal growing. I uh, don't really want to plant in the farming guild. This should be nearly done now. We can sort that out in a minute. Uh, these potions, I mean, I'm not going to be using them. They're also pretty easy to get. I'm probably just going to ditch them as well. Uh, the law runes, I haven't quite decided what I want to do with these yet. Because they do have one use. And that is... Did that just grow? Okay. Well, that just grew in front of me. Um, the law runes have one use. And that is to recharge the Book of the Dead. Now, if the Book of the Dead could hold more charges, that would be fantastic. But it can only have 60. Which is incredibly annoying. So it basically means that whenever I run out of charges, I've got to get more law runes. So I can recharge it. And... I don't want to be just holding law runes for the pure sake of recharging Book of the Dead, because it's just not worth it. So I think my game plan here is to fully charge it now, uh, use up as many law runes as I can on the book, and then I'm going to drop them over to another account for bomb money. And then if I ever do need to recharge it again, I'll probably kill some undead druids or something, get 60 charges, get it back to full, and then we'll go on with that, because I don't use it that often. Um, I also have minecarts to travel around, so it's not like it's desperately needed. The only time it's really all that useful is for Sorachnus, um, because even if we look up at Piscarillus, the uh, the food shop here has a minecart right here, so it's pretty easy to get to. All right, this is going to top up our Book of the Dead. It only has uh, six charges remaining, so we only needed six law runes, which kind of makes this stack pointless anyway. We've got 17,832 law runes left over. I'm going to be dropping these over. If there's something that I've forgotten about and I need these law runes, then, well, that's my own fault. I can farm them again. It's not like I'm desperately going to need them. But we've got 99 construction now, which is one of the main reasons I wanted the law runes for teleport the house. And, of course, um, I mean, like I said, I can farm them anyway. I, I can't really see a major reason why I'm going to need this many law runes in the future. I just really hope I'm not overlooking something. I feel like it's me, so I probably am. But I'm going to get rid of these. Uh, I'm probably going to sell the death runes to the rune shop. I've been thinking about it and I think selling these and just using the GP for different runes is way more efficient. I know I've said in the past that I don't really need a massive cash stack, but it is still nice to have. Um, especially because at some point, again, this is like very ambitious, but at some point I will have a Tebow. And when I have a Tebow, I'm going to want the cash to pay for the rune arrows that I'm going to use for it. Um, I'm not going to be using dragon arrows, despite the fact I can get from chambers. They're just not as easily sustainable. And rune arrows are sold in Shazian, so that's the plan for that. I'm basically just going to be getting rid of the dragon arrows every time I get them. That might hurt some of you, you know, losing out on a bit of damage. But honestly, I think some of you will understand why I want to do that. It's better for inventory space. It's better for management. It's just easier. Um, I might change my mind in the future. Maybe the extra damage is necessary and 
preferable, but I mean, that is the game plan for now. We're looking a very long way into the future, so it's hard to really analyze exactly what I want to do. And the law runes are officially gone. It is now time to go off and sell 40,000 death runes to the shop in Arceus. Um, if I, I mean, I've said before, I might use these for death, uh, not death lure, dark lure, sorry, use a death rune, so I got confused there. I might use these for dark lure in the future, for Puro Puro, um, but I could just buy them. Like, I mean, yeah, sure, I'll lose a little bit of money, but I think right now inventory space is important and the cash is nice as well. Using 40,000 death runes for spells just doesn't feel worth it, as I said in the previous clip. Um, so yeah, basically just going to get rid of these as well. That's going to have another space. I've also got to get rid of these red dragon hides. I'm going to be using up all of these. We've got 788 of them. I forgot to mention this before when we got 99 defense, but yeah, this is all from uh, Grubby Keys. And uh, there are some from Seratnus as well, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Grubby Keys and Seratnus got us this many. That's going to give us a nice chunk of crafting XP. It's not actually as much as I'd hoped it would be, but it is still crafting XP nonetheless. And then we get to our kit for even more money. So let's go ahead and sell off 40,501 death runes to Theria. And that's going to be the last of the death runes. That took way too long to sell, but we do have a big, big chunk of money now. 32.3 million gp looking good and the almighty grubby key gives us yeah it's not really useful in any way to be honest you know cleansing my inventory is a very nice feeling it's been a long time since i've actually had any inventory space to work with and the fact that i'm going to be able to get nine vials of water without my inventory filling up is pretty insane um, we're going to go ahead and make these snapdragons into restore or super restore potions and I'm going to drop them. Um, sorry if that's going to hurt any of you guys, but carrying around nine grimy snapdragons is not worth it. Yes, I could put them in the herb sack, but honestly, I don't plan on using them. And uh, they're just going to be a waste of space anyway. I'm probably just going to take them out later and then turn them into potions regardless. Um, I've also got a ton of Ranar seeds still and a bunch of Haralana seeds. I'm going to be planting Ranars in the Karen patch and Haralanders in the Farming Guild. And the reason for that is because the Karen patch doesn't die. And the Ranars are way more valuable to me than the Haralanders. The Haralanders are quite simply just Herblore XP. I have a massive amount of the Haralanders. 278 of them. And I'll be able to make regular restore potions with them. And that's going to clear up um, not only the seeds in the seed box. Which might be useful for putting different seeds in. I haven't really planned too far ahead. Um, but also it's going to give me a chunk of herbal XP, which of course we are going to need. So that's going to be all the super restores made. Goodbye. I will not be needing them. I'm finished with prayer stuff anyway. And if I do need prayer potions, I'll just use a couple of the Ranars. We've got nearly three and a half thousand Ranars now and plenty more growing as well. Plus the fact I do plan on doing farming contracts soon, so we'll be getting even more Ranar seeds. Which means we're going to have a nice stack, probably about 4,000 before we take on raids, which should be fantastic. That's 3,000 all those potions which we'll have to use which is brilliant and the last thing i have got now to clear up in my inventory are these red dragon hides i believe um so we are going to go in death storage I'm going to craft all of them into red dehyde bodies yeah and once i've done that that should be my inventory all cleared up following that i think the next goal is to do farming contracts with some thieving i do plan on getting 99 magic but i'd really like to get the lamps to 55 slayer first if we can get lucky enough um, because then I'll be able to use a Slayer Staff, and for those of you who don't know, Slayer Staff allows you to auto-cast Archeo Spells, which is part of my plan coming up. Alright, so now it's time to get through this stack of Red Dragon Hides. It's going to make us another chunk of money, going to get us a bit of a crafting XP, as I said before, not as much as I'd liked. But still, I'd always take the extra XP. We are edging our way closer and closer to what I actually need. Uh, 90 is the goal, by the way. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned that before. 90 will be the final crafting goal. After that, I really don't care because 90 will get us the Fury. Um, I'm not going to go for 90 before raids. It would take way too long, and I really want to get into raids, which should be somewhere around Christmas, I reckon, I'm going to start. Um, I keep having to push it back because I keep getting distracted by different goals. But anyway, um, I want to let you guys in with what the plan is for basically thieving and farming contracts uh, but before i do that i do want to mention that i do currently actually have a maple tree contract which is awful by the way because getting tree seeds absolutely sucks there's only two realistic ways of me getting a maple seed and that would be winter todd or seracnus and both of those things i've done way too much of and really don't feel like doing but i mean it's always possible that we have to go back to seracnus I might just see which one's more likely and then just try and get it done because if we can get ourselves that maple seed we'll be able to get started on farming contracts properly 
Um, in the meantime, I'm also going to be doing some thieving for other seeds. Obviously not tree seeds because I don't give them. But we'll be stealing from the Master Farmer. And with that comes in my uh, my little technique that I'm going to be doing on this account. So if you guys didn't know, there is a spell on the Arceus spellbook called Shadow Veil. Which increases your chance of pickpocketing. Now because I can't get Thieving Cape or Arty Cloak or anything like that. There is always a chance for me to fail with the Master Farmer. But if I use Shadow Veil, that is going to significantly lessen that. Unfortunately, I can't get the dodgy necklaces or whatever they're called. The thing that also reduces your chance of capture. But combined with Shadow Veil and having a high thieving level, I should be okay. I've got 89 now. We'll be able to get a chunk more for that. And I think that also helps in Chambers as well. Bear in mind, I haven't actually really done Chambers before. I just know there's a room of chests and I think thieving helps with that. So having higher thieving could be helpful. But yeah, we'll get ourselves some seeds from that. Hopefully a bunch of herb seeds because that is the most important thing from all of this is the fact that we want herb seeds to train herb lore. In the meantime, I'm going to be farming my Haralanders and my Ranars, like I said before. We're going to be stacking up plenty of herbs. I'm not going to be using the Ranars uh, to train herb lore. I will be using them purely as supplies, but everything else I will probably use as I get. Uh, maybe less so the, uh, the boosting potions, specifically the Cadentines. Um, I get enough Irrits so that I could probably just fly through them for XP and not really worry about it too much. Um, so I'm not going to hesitate too much on them. Um, but I do want to use up all the Ranar seeds so that we've just got a nice stack of Ranar herbs. Ideally, they would all be grimy um, so I can put them in the herb sack. But unfortunately, I cleaned loads of them earlier on in the count and I still haven't got through the clean ones yet. So unfortunate. But anyway, that is the game plan. Like I said, Shadow Veil for thieving. I uh, don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I'm going to be doing this until I can manage to get enough lamps to get one more Slayer level and then we'll be getting 99 magic alongside doing some farming. As always, we're going to be farming the herbs as often as we possibly can. And then once we've got 99 magic, we should be able to do a bunch more herb lore, hopefully get it close to 86 and at 86 we can boost to make super combat potions and that completely sets us up for the chambers of Zeric, which is getting ever so close now. Like I said, Christmas, it is currently the 6th of November as I'm recording this. So we are getting very close to being able to do raids and I am getting so excited.